Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today we're going to take a look at constants inside JavaScript. Um, so constants can be declared using the const keyword and basically they're very similar to variables but you can't reassign the value of a constant. So that's the main difference right there. So let's see an example of a constant in a bit more detail. So um, inside the JavaScript for this document, let's declare a constant called A. So I can type out const a is equal to a number for example 5 so we have a constant here declared called a with a value of 5 so if I was to simply then console.log a we will get the results of 5 inside the console right there so that's quite straightforward but if I was to attempt to reassign the value of a we get a syntax error so if I can say if I say a is equal to 7 okay I can try saving this and refreshing and we get that right there so assignment to a constant variable so we can't reassign the value of a constant that is the key difference between that and a let so let declares a standard variable which can be changed so if I was to refresh this one we get 7 but um, back to a constant and we get that error so um, that is the um, the basics of a constant. Just keep in mind that you can actually assign an object to a constant and then change a property value inside that object. So for example, um, let's just get rid of this and declare a new constant called me equal to an object describing myself. So we can say as a property name, uh, name is Dom, age is 35, and occupation can be a web developer. Okay, so we have this object right here assigned to a constant called me. Um, once again, if I was to console.log me, we get um, this object. But what I can do is I can say me dot name is equal to a different name, for example, Rob. So I can save this and refresh the browser and now um, we get inside the console we get name is equal to Rob. So I'm able to reassign or change the value of a property um, inside an object as a constant but I can't actually change or reassign the constant itself. So um, if I was to say me is equal to once again an object but this time we're going to change a few values here. We can say name is equal to Rob, age is 10, and no occupation. So now this will not work. So I can save and refresh this one, and we get the same error as before. So um, just keep in mind that you can change property values um, uh, inside an object that's assigned as a constant. Okay, so let's see an example of a constant being used. So if I was to declare a function up here, we can call this one is name too long. This will accept a single argument, that being a name, and it's going to return true or false depending on if a name is too long. So if this string here is past a certain length, then we're going to return true. So I can say if name.length is greater than, uh, let's just say 5 for example, then I'm going to consider it to be too long. So I can return true here. Otherwise, I can return false. Okay, so um, I can now console.log. I'm going to call this function and pass my name into that. I can save and refresh and we get false. So Dom is not too long. If I was to type out, let's just say Dominic, my full name, save and refresh and now we get true. So quite basic. Um, but I can change um, this 5 into a constant to avoid a magic number. So right now 5 is uh, considered to be a magic number because we're, we're just passing in this number inside this logic and it can get hard to maintain or change this threshold in the future. So I can instead declare a constant and call this one max length is equal to 5. So now I can replace this with that right there. So now we're 
we're avoiding the use of a magic number inside this condition. So now the logic is quite separated from this max length. I can save and refresh and we get the same result. So I tend to keep my constants as capitals if I'm trying to avoid magic numbers or magic um, strings or magic anything. Okay, That is one use of a constant. We can also use them um, inside um, an array for loop. So for example, I can declare a new constant up here. This would be an array of names. So const names equal to an array of names. We can say Dom, Rob, and um, let's just say John. Okay, so now I can loop through the array. So I can say for const name of names. So here I'm using a constant which will be reassigned to um, each of these elements as we loop through the array. So I can console.log name in this case, save and refresh, and we get the, uh, the uh, three names in the console. So um, the reason for a constant in this case is because this loop isn't going to be modifying um, the values inside the array. So there's no point making it a let because that sort of um, suggests otherwise. But a constant ensures that we're going to loop through these values and only those values. Okay. Um, one more thing, uh, constants are also block scoped. So similar to let, um, they are scoped to a block. So for example, um, if I was to, let's just say, create a, an if statement, we can say if one is less than five, which it is, then we're going to declare a constant called a equal to 10. I can then console.log a, and this is not going to work. I can save this and refresh, and we get that right there. So a is not defined. Um, this condition passed, but this constant is, is bounded to in between these, these two curly braces inside this block. So it's not defined down here. If I was to change this to a standard var statement, this time the a is going to be in scope. I can save this and refresh and we get 10 right there. That's because a is function scoped and not block scoped. Just keep that in mind. All right, and that is how you can use constants with the const keyword inside JavaScript. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.